Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, there was a huge eruption on the sun. Uh, but you know what? I don't know if it's an eruption or if the sun was actually impacted by something very large and created this massive e explosion that literally sent debris into space. Now, there's been, there, right now there's four CMEs headed toward the earth with the big one from this eruption, this explosion, due to hit the earth today. It's my dad's birthday, he's 78 today, and I think the last thing he wants to see is a power grid go out across half the globe. But we don't know what it is that this may cause. If any, I'm more concerned about earthquakes or volcano eruptions from such pressure put upon the earth by the CMEs that come. Now, BP Earthwatch did a great job. He did a video. It's got over 50,000 views, so people have really, really learned a lot from it. He did it a couple days ago, and uh, I'm going to play just on the 4th, actually, when this happened, and let, he, let's let him explain a little better of what it is that took place on the sun. Very impressive. That's Earth facing, not directly, but you always get the side glancing. Now, here's something strange has happened, guys. You see that black object? You see the angle that's different from everything else? It almost appears as something struck the sun. It's going to be hard to see until, I mean, until no, until we get the HI2 images. It takes a couple days. They'll show the close-up of the approach. But it looks like, almost like something struck it from the back. I'm going to... And look and at that. That's erupts. unusual. It broke that filament. Then look at the debris thrown out in the small um, section scouts right above the timestamp. That's not a normal no. flare. That's not a normal coronal mass ejection. Not sure what has happened. I've never seen this ever. You've never seen it on one of my videos. If you've ever seen it anywhere else on any of NASA stuff or SDO, let me know. Now, that is a, a man who's been studying all of this, uh, the sun, who's put together the collation between CMEs from the sun and how they relate how, as they're impacting the earth and how they create, a lot of times, earthquakes. Matter of fact, last week when a, when a big CME was hitting the sun, he told us the day before that the CME was going to hit the earth at around 8 p.m. Eastern uh, the next day, and he was concerned about earthquakes because certainly there had been a lot of rumbling uh, in Los Angeles, Yellowstone National Park, Oklahoma, and Chile, and he was concerned about that CME coming, uh, coming upon the earth with impact. And sure enough, uh, 12 minutes before 8 p.m., the CME hit the earth, and we had a 8.2 mega, mega massive earthquake hit Chile with a seven-foot tsunami, and of course, uh, a followed by, oh, I don't even know how many earthquakes after that. It's followed by a 7.6 earthquake in Chile the next day, 6.2, 6.5, probably close to 100 earthquakes, over five. So, the, so this is why when he talks about an event like this, again, I'll put the link of this video for you to watch it. You need to see how that thing erupts. But now, he did a video... Also, um, uh, Saturday, about these four incoming CMEs, and especially, I, I wanted to find out his view of the CME from that big explosion on the sun. So I went there to see what he had to say about that. This, we may not have felt yet. Think about it. That would be into the sixth. That's the one that looked like the big sword. So that's one, two, three. We're in the late hours of the 4th. Look at the timestamp. Now, the big one where it looked like something hit the sun last night, we will not feel that until the 7th. Check this out. That is the most impressive CME. And remember how different it looks close up at, where, at the surface of the sun in the last video? So, the big one, there's four CMEs that are, that are going to hit the earth, but the big one from the big eruption... Uh, is due to hit the earth today. Now, I'm going to actually, uh, I hope Jesse calls into the live broadcast today, be one of our call-ins. I'd like to get him to get us up to speed because he came within 12 minutes and 
literally identified the fact that we were dangerously could be affected by a CME uh, last week, and we were. We were hit with the CME and hit with a mega, mega earthquake. Now, I'm not saying that we're going to have another mega earthquake from this CME, but I would like to hear him tell me what time the CME is due to hit the earth today on April 7th, and was it a glancing blow? Is it a direct hit, or is it a fading away and not too bad? I just need to know. So we'll have a better understanding of what we're dealing with. Here's what the Bible said. Here's what I do know, because <laughs> I'm not a scientist. Here's what I know. The Bible said, Jesus said, uh, that in the last days, he told us in Luke, he said, there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon, which we're getting ready to go into the four blood moons on four high feast days, Jewish feast days, starting next week. Signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, and men's hearts failing them for fear of things coming upon the earth. Now, I'm telling you right now, when you begin to see these things come to pass, he says uh, that he told us to look up, lift up our heads for our redemption is drawing nigh. And so we are living in the apocalyptic hour when certainly we're seeing some major events taking place. So uh, don't miss our show today. I'm going to try to get a hold of him and, and see if he will call in for sure. Usually uh, we can find him. Hopefully we can. One thing I know for sure is you need to get covered by the blood of Jesus. You need to be born again. If you're not saved, I wouldn't want to be walking around on, on this planet not knowing, first of all, if I got another breath left in my body, is my heart going to beat another beat? And is my soul right with God? Get right with God. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Today's broadcast will be from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com.